Okay, uh, let's get started now. <clears throat> We're going to first do our angelicas, and I would like to get one of you to act as the guinea pig and actually do it while I guide you through it. No, If you, <clears throat> any of you know the time-tested method for making sure that you get even dispersal, you just have to make a little crease like this. And then gently tap your arm. It still doesn't, it's not entirely effective with angelica seed because those ridges on the surface of the seed make them kind of stick together. Um, but you don't need fancy little tools and stuff. All you need is some tapping. Okay. <clears throat> Remember we said that this one is light germinated. So we're not going to put any vermiculite or anything on the top of this soil. We're just going to gently press in, press down like this. And then slip it into a bag. going to loosely tie with a twist tie, leaving a little space in there for air to enter. And then we're going to, we'll, we'll just take a shortcut and we'll tape the pack right onto the thing instead of trying to bother with extra labeling. So I don't think I'll have tape in there. you to do the rest of these. And uh, where are our uh, perforated flats? Um, so the flats were, yeah, those. So we just carefully put them back in so that they're supported. In case of the Angelicas and what she's doing here with the Bupleurum, one or two or three seeds per cell is not really going to cut it. You have to have a few more than that. And uh, you very well could get multiple germinations in each cell. You could actually get a dense flush of germination, in which case you let it grow for a few months until it's banging up against the surface of the plastic or when, when the seedlings seem to be a really good size. Then you're going to empty the cell out. And with these, actually, I would cut them with a scissor and then flip it over, take the bundle that's usually quite root bound, and then gently pry them apart. You can just massage the root ball with your fingers and they will separate. It's, it's pretty delicate work, but you get used to it. Um, then you can pick those little seedlings out of there. They've usually got a really long root. 
and transplant them into an individual pot. Okay, um, now on her bupleurum. We're not sure that this is entirely light dependent. We didn't look it up in Dr. Dino's book yet. So to hedge our bets, we're just going to gently sprinkle some vermiculite on this. Um, you can see how I'm winging it and covering my, my uh, ignorance because, you know, um, for purposes of this demonstration, I can't remember everything that Dr. Dino said and I didn't have a chance to look it up before class. But let's say that this thing is light dependent or partially light dependent. These little grains of vermiculite are going to fall on some of the seeds but not on others. So there's just a little tiny bit of cover there, just a dusting. And that's good enough. So here you go with your baggie. And here's the tape.